I want to say a few things about rope inspection and retirement. Anytime a line is used or put away for that matter, it should be inspected for excessive wear, abrasion, and damage. Cut strands are very obvious signs of damage to the rope. Burn strands due to excessive heat from friction can be fairly obvious signs of damage to the line. Here we have a double braid line that was used in rigging mechanical advantage using a toothed ascender. And you can see here that significant damage was done to this line. Discoloration can be an indicator, perhaps, but not always a sign that a line should be retirement. Pine pitch, for example, would, can discolor the line, but not necessarily render it useless or, or damaged beyond the point of its usefulness. Other signs and indicators would be flat spots in the rope, hard spots, swelling, and or a chalkiness where the fibers are actually breaking away. That's a clear sign of chemical contamination. And chemical contamination is something we want to avoid at all cost. For example, leaving jumper cables in the bottom of the box where we store our climbing lines. Even salt, if we get involved in plowing and spreading salt in the wintertime. Keep those kind of things away from our lines. Ambient abrasion is, uh, is abrasion and strength loss throughout the rope that's almost impossible to measure unless we actually break the rope to find out how much strength was actually lost. When a rope becomes old and dry looking, that is a sign that the rope has lost a great deal of strength. Store ropes properly. Keep track of when they're put in service, how they're used, and if there's any sign of excessive wear or damage to the rope or any doubt about its integrity, retire it. We have to take good care of our climbing and rigging lines.